like my palms are sweaty in this motherfucker, bro. Hey, that E85 though, okay? I can see what you guys are talking about when you say you like the smell of that. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like, damn, it's a good, pretty good spot, and then Franco goes crazy. <laughs> damn, we might have to just dip out real quick. Okay, <laughs> Franco. Good everybody who is louis 13 back again i am louis as you guys can see i don't know if you've seen the intro my boy franco right here you see him go follow him he's over here going crazy and shit i wasn't expecting that i didn't know he was gonna do that i didn't think i was gonna do it either <laughs> I, was into it, man. I was like for the vlog bro fuck it for the vlog that's right hell yeah that's that content right there but yeah you guys see it um we're about to do a review on this thing man uh it's a 2017 yeah 2017 Mustang GT full bolt-on yeah E85. full bolt-on E85 tune yeah tuned by Palm Beach Palm Beach Dino, yeah. Palm Beach Dino. Shit, I didn't even see that lady over there <laughs> tuned by Palm Beach Dino and it is a six-speed manual we'll talk about the under the hood and all that right now but as far as like the cosmetics on the outside you got the wheels yeah, right the RTRs, the tech fives, which, which are hard i like them better just for the fact that they don't have too much spokes compared to the tech sevens right and then yeah. from there i just wrapped the roof and the hood vent oh that's right and, and then you lowered it yeah it's on ibox ibox screen that's right looks good fitment looks good those wheels are nice too i always compliment you on the wheels those wheels are hard and you already know that adds a good little touch, the little wrap to the little spots on there. And there's campus safety right here. <laughs> He's waving. He ain't tripping, he ain't tripping. We just revved it, maybe it was a little loud. Yeah, that's all that happened. For the video, I didn't. Fuck it. And then you did the front grill delete, yeah? Yeah, just the ghetto one for now. <laughs> we gotta get like some netting or some type of deal to catch the, any rocks. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks cool for now though, you know? I used to have a muffler delete. I still do have the resonator delete, but I have my stock mufflers on there right now. Just you had to do that. Headers. Right. Get pulled over real quick. True that, true that. Let's see what's up under the hood, man. The thing is, the intake manifold it does look like a stock one. Is does it? Shelby? Oh, it's the Shelby intake manifold. But it's just gonna be the, it looks like the stock 501, the size that it's black. The Mandingo P mask gives it away. Oh, yeah. Is that carb legal? Oh, no. No, hell no. <laughs> you guys see it? 52 pound injectors. And the headers are down there, you can see them. Oh yeah, you can see the headers right there too. Okay, okay. This thing is a beast, man. And me and Franco, we got some runs in before. Uh, we actually seen from when you were stock, right? From stock. And then all the way up to a couple bolt-ons to full bolt-on. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you guys the results, you can go check. For yourself you know go check those videos we have a few runs up already actually the first time i met you guys we you were the first it. person yeah. i ran the first person i ran actually that was like one of my first official runs was with franco and then after that it's all history from there man 
Well, shit, man. Should we close it up and take it for a spin or what? Let's get it. I've never driven a, a full bolt-on Mustang before, and let alone six-speed. Damn, this thing's kind of low too. Oh shit. Damn, this thing feels low as fuck. Oh yeah, shit. Got the passenger in the back. Got the passenger in the back. You guys see it? Young E80 fizzle. The black suede with the uh, yeah. carbon fiber, the red stitching. The keys in there. Oh shit. Oh, okay, shit. You I forgot. It was like the yeah, I thought it was like, yeah. <laughs> like, all right. I know I'm all looking for the keys and shit. Start it up. And it's on E85, huh? Yeah, it's actually on lower gas right now, too, so like, it'll pull a little harder when less gas in So, this is my first time driving full bolts on, first time driving an E85, a vehicle on E85. A lot of firsts right now. How to see how this thing does be able to compare it to the Shelby a little bit too. So first is right here and second, okay. First is left. Oh, so I gotta go, go left. To reverse, it's oh, like okay, cool. all the way. Yeah, cause Without that shit scares it, me. Boom. All right, cool, I like that, I like that. A little safety feature. Be careful on the day if they're still Yeah, the oh shit, that's right. Extra careful. Ooh, I think it just low. touches it a little bit. The, the long two headers hang lower than like anything else in the car. Okay, yeah, the clutch is like real quick. It's heavy too. It's kind of heavy compared to the GT500. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's easy though. It goes in smooth. Is it a stock clutch? A stock clutch? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a racing clutch. I think it's a X City Mach 500. I forget what stage I got it. I think it's stage two or three. Oh, okay. I think this one is heavier than like any of the ones that I've driven. Probably. It's springy too. Yeah. But that's why it's the, also the race to clutch. Drive too, because I have a brass and braided uh, performance line. Uh huh. Clutch line. It already feels quick, bro, and I'm like barely touching on the pedal. Like downshifting on this one, I always double tap. It's hard to downshift. If I just tap it once and downshift, yeah. it fucking like, it'll dark and drop really fast. For real? So you have to like, it's, it takes a little practice. Like this. E85 
five life. Uh, I don't think I did. To be honest, I'm still. I'll get it right now. It's scary, bro. Cause when I first started doing it, I was like, like, I, was like I, you know, I thought I was gonna bounce off the rest of it. Yeah, exactly. I've never gone that high. Star yeah. in a car. Okay. You can slip it. You don't have to just dump the whole thing. Okay, It'll just slip. ease off of it. Yeah. Like right. halfway, you know, like halfway. Slowly. Never. I don't think I ever d did a dig in a fucking manual. <laughs> Remember the 
last time my palms were sweating when I drove a car. Maybe I don't know, bro. Like this shit got me a little nervous. What's the the best roll in this thing? Okay, well, let's try that again. You could take it all the way to like. fucking drive this shit because there ain't uh, all those stories and videos of mustang drivers killing crowds and shit for nothing this shit is no joke it's fun though bro like if i got used to it on the highway it's not that scary it's just these small roads right it gets a little squirrely you try to get some first gear from what and that shit won't get hella loose or what? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's a fun one. Just pedal it. If it starts right. kicking out, just pedal it. You know what that means? Mm -hmm. You just start tapping the pedal. Oh, you mean like, oh yeah, yeah. Tap the pedal to catch grip. You said a 20? Yeah. Or do it right there, wherever you want. going through my head bro i'm like fuck just let off that motherfucker bro yeah. whoo bro i'm still i got the nerves bro from driving this shit this shit is crazy this I probably the... when you did the pull right now i saw that dh and they started pulling this way i was like damn i was like <laughs> here we go bro. hell no bro <laughs> that's why i just let off i'm not trying to fucking impress nobody bro hell no i'm trying I'm to like, just shit. <laughs> i'm trying to just make it back safe Hey, but this is the craziest fucking car I've driven so far, dude. Just because you let me like hit that shit and goddamn. Well, pause. even then the Shelby doesn't like. It has long ass gears, so I feel like it's not as torquey. Yeah. It, it gets on it though. But. Cause I hit, I hit it a little bit, like, but not like I did in this. But it wasn't. Well, I didn't bang gears because I didn't know where the red line was, and I didn't want to bang off. Cause I drove it from that right here. Yeah. And he bought it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you when you tricked us all, and we thought it was for you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this shit right here though, man. This shit right here, nigga. This shit right here, nigga. Right here. This shit, nigga. If you ain't a experienced driver, at least like full bolt on, I don't recommend getting one of these bad boys. You gotta fucking know what you're doing in this shit. I've not. Have I driven a stock one? I don't think I've driven a stock one. I feel like I need like at least like a week with this thing or more to feel comfortable like doing digs and racing. Fuck. Try to get back up out of this thing. All right, we back. God damn. I feel like I just went on a roller coaster at Magic Mountain or some shit. That shit was wild, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I wish I had a camera to show you guys my facial expression. I'm sure Franco could tell you, bro. My eyes were like this. This shit, though, man, out of all the cars I've driven, 
Like I said, I didn't go crazy with the Hellcat, but this shit had me nervous as hell. Now I know why they call them crowd killers and all that other stuff because very easily, like this thing gets loose, but it's a controlled, it feels like a controlled loose. But when this thing gets loose, that loose is different in this shit right here. I don't know if it's because it's lighter or you know the dynamics of it or what. This shit is different. This shit is fun as hell though. I definitely need me one eventually down the line. Stay tuned because for sure gonna get one of these, maybe like a PP2 GT500, something like that. But man, thank you, bruh, for trusting me. You know we're gonna we're gonna let him try out the scat too. I just gotta get that the new tires on it because I got a damn nail in my wheel right there. But stay tuned for that. You know we're about to do the review on this uh, F-150 right here, and this thing ain't stock either, 2020. So stay tuned for that. We're about to get that in right now. But uh, other than that, man, that's pretty much gonna do it for this. When you guys see the merch, go cop it if you want to support the channel. The gaming channel is up. All links are in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys as always. My boy Franco, go follow him. My boy Adrian, wherever he's at, hiding. Yeah, you'll see him in the next video. Go follow him because they got a lot of content. You know what I'm saying? Franco's always doing something crazy, as you guys seen. And then he has a whole lot of plans, which you guys will find out in a minute with this thing right here. So, yeah, man, go check it out. But as I said, who is Louis 13 checking out? Salute. Catch you guys on the next one.